Okay, we're going to talk about syntax terms. Syntax is the grammatical arrangement of words and sentences. A simple sentence has the most basic elements that make it a sentence. So, a simple sentence has a subject, a verb, and it has to be a complete thought. An example would be, Joe waited for the train. Joe is the subject, and waited is the verb. Another example would be, the train was late. The subject would be the train, and the verb would be was. A compound sentence is a sentence made up of two independent clauses that are connected to each other with a coordinating conjunction. An easy way to remember all of the conjunctions is the acronym FANBOYS. Um, and that stands for for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. An example of a compound sentence would be Joe waited for the train, but the train was late. But is the coordinating conjunction, and there are two independent clauses. A complex sentence is made up of an independent clause and one or more dependent clauses connected to it. A dependent clause is similar to an independent clause or a complete sentence, but it doesn't have the elements that would make it a complete sentence. So, an example of a dependent clause would be, um, while he waited at the train station. Okay. Dependent clauses begin with subordinating conjunctions. So, a couple common subordinating conjunctions would be after, although, as, because, before, even though, if, since, though, unless, until, when, whenever, whereas, while, and wherever. An example would be, while he waited at the train station, Joe realized that the train was late. An example of a complex sentence from the book Jane Eyre would be, when the typhus fever had fulfilled its mission of devastation at Lowood, it gradually disappeared. An example of a simple sentence from The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants would be, the pants were good luck, even from the sidelines. And that brings us to the end of my presentation. I hope you know a little bit more about syntax terms, and thanks for watching.